Hi, this is Roger, thanks for dropping by, and welcome to part three of the second round of uh, Project Orchid updates. Um, this is quite a short one, there's only six plants in this, but there were four Cattleya types that we selected, and um, two Tolumnias. So, uh, without further ado, whatever the hell that means, uh, <laughs> let's get on with it. Okay, the Brassavola Little Stars um, had, had a bit of damage. Um, I haven't had this one long. I actually got this in October 2018. So, you know, at the time we filmed it last time, I hadn't actually had it that long. And it had some damaged um, new growths when I got it. And I was hoping to see some new growths pushing out from the same area. It is quite logical and very common that if you get a damaged new growth the plant will shoot out to the side of it sometimes both sides bonus <laughs> not always but this didn't have a brilliant root system but it was showing signs of starting some roots um, but what I was really after was some new growths there was one just starting right round the back of the plant at this point um, but nothing much going on. It was just finishing its blooms. Um, you see the tail end of the blooms there. And um, yeah, uh, I was pleased that it bloomed. Um, I was a little unimpressed by the blooms, but it was probably because there weren't many. This thing's supposed to be like a mass bloomer when it gets going. Um, well, first of all, we need to get it going before it can be a mass bloomer. So I was looking forward to growths and new roots. Okay, so uh, obviously after this amount of time the blooms are gone, but um, as expected, although not all orchids do as expected, but this one was expected to put on a mass of new growth, especially where the damaged bits were. Now what we had here was a damaged lead, yeah? Um, what that's done is pushed out a lovely strong new growth behind it, yeah? And also a load of roots from the same area. And then over here, we had some damage. And what we've got here is one, two, three, four new growths. And again, <clears throat> nice good root system coming out on this side of the plant. And then round this side of the plant, again, I expected leads to come out in this area. So we've got a new growth here and a new growth here. And again, good root activity going on. So just so we know for next time, let's count up the new growths. We've got one, two, three in the middle there, three, four, five, little one there, six, a nice one there, seven, and one right round the back against the mount. So at this point in time, we've got eight new growths and some very good root activity going on. So this, this one's picking up nicely. Those eight new growths, in theory, will be the next to bloom. So the next blooming, however far down the line it is, is probably gonna be quite something. And with this one, for me, it needs to be. Um, I mean, I was used to having the Brassavola nodosa, which I was well pleased with, but I lost the plant, you know? <laughs> so. I now have no blooms and I got the little stars because it's supposed to be a lot more vigorous and a lot more, um, what's the word, floriferous. I'm glad I said that before I had the wine. Um, but we'll see. You know, I've got eight new growths so far, all at different stages, some pushing on nicely and some just starting. So we should have blooms over a staggered period whenever it gets round to doing it again. It will probably be late winter. Um, it could be late this year, um, but it could be a long way off. But at least we've got progress, serious progress on this one. As expected, as I say, not all, not all orchids do as expected. Some do the complete opposite to what you expect, but this one's performing as, uh, as required. Now when we looked at this one last time, we had the blooms just opening on what I call the front of the plant. And what we're looking at is the back of the plant where these two strange little miniature growths were produced. They're less than half size, tiny little things, but they both had 
buds in the sheaths, which I, I was just astounded because this is just unnatural growth for a start um, to get, you know, to actually get a, a tiny little bulb like that um, to actually, in theory, produce some blooms is quite spectacular. Um, but nonetheless, the plant's back to front. The main growth area of the plant is probably going to be around the other side. But what's going to happen around this side with those two little new growths? I don't know. Um, but at this particular point in time, um, I was expecting these to carry on and bloom, hopefully. Um, I mean, the bloom started in February on this one. So, um, you know, let's go and see what's happening now. Now, last time we looked at this little one, we had blooms round the back here, coming out from here. And I deliberately put it round here because of these strange two dwarfed little bulbs that pushed out round the far side of the plant. Now, both of those bloomed. This one bloomed. And this one is still in bloom. So, the blooms opened in February on this plant, and it's had blooms on it ever since. So unexpectedly, I think we've got a little bit of a star performer here. But obviously these blooms won't last too much longer, but they've lasted incredibly well. In very attractive blooms, lovely red centre to the frilly sort of tunnel shaped lip. Um, but as far as the plant is concerned, obviously what I want now, or shortly, is some new growths. And I would expect a strong new growth to come out from this side of the plant where the blooms have just finished and there is a growth just just starting but nothing much to show for it yet and I think it's going to be a single growth as well so uh, we'll have to wait and see how that progresses as far as new growths are concerned but it's bloomed well and I've been very pleased with it a nice nice little catlia it's never going to get too big um, it can grow out sideways as much as it likes, but it's not going to grow vertical. So it's not going to topple over or fall over or be a nuisance. It's just going to be a nice little performer with very attractive little blooms. So that's that one. Now this one was selected as a notorious non-bloomer. I actually got this in June 2017 and not a light, not a light um, and it's on borrowed time but I've done a bit of research and um, we will see I got a feeling I got an out of season plant and it just messed it up but at this point in time what we had was two nice little new growths at the base of the plant um, just sort of you know literally right at the base of the plant they were just starting up and um, as a consequence of those new growths I was expecting some new roots to go with them but the previous two growths had grown up to full size full size bulbs full size leaves and this is a giant um, but no sign of a sheath no sign of a sheath and this one needs a sheath with to get the buds it's got a strange pattern I've done a bit of work on this because I'm determined to get this to bloom but as it stood back then all I had to work with was two new growths just starting but I had in mind what I wanted to do with them already but I can only do what I want to do if the plant does what it's supposed to do Yeah, this is the biggest one to try and get in shot <laughs> because I've got plants on the floor behind me that are normally on this table I can't take a step backwards so we're doing the archy back thing I hope I don't fall over backwards anyway just to get it in shot it might seem odd but I need to get it in shot because I've got to take the still for the next set of updates so I have to have a reasonably still camera shot in a certain position ready to do that. That's, that's, that's the logic behind it. But now we can get in. I can straighten my back up before it uh, gives out. Right, the two new growths that we looked at are pushing on nicely. And have both produced some additional roots. This didn't have a bad root system. I've got no complaints about the root system. But each new growth pushes out more new roots. Gives more strength. But what I need to see from this eventually is blooms. 
blooms will be preceded by two very large sheaths from the center of these two growths. Otherwise, mate, you're in trouble. But that's its pattern. It's a monofoliate, so single leaf per bulb, very large. And the idea is that these will mature through the growing season. And as the season progresses and gets towards its end, two large sheaths will come out of the center of these, almost as big as the leaf. They are quite large. If I see those, I've got this one at long last. And then what should happen is as the bulb becomes mature and that sheath is produced, this has got to have a rest. So I've got to cut back on food and water dramatically for a period of time. I'll look that up. It doesn't have to be precise, but it needs a rest, this one, while the sheath's there. So first of all, I've got to get the sheath, <laughs> otherwise, it's, otherwise there's no point in bothering. And then we rest it. And then the bud should form. After a period of rest, the bud should form, at which point you can start feeding and watering again. That's the pattern it's supposed to do. Now, I didn't know that in past times, but then um, I do now. So we'll see what happens. I'll be very interested to see if this now plays ball. It's a mature plant. It's got plenty of bulbs, plenty of leaves, and a very good root system, and two strong new growths. There's no reason now why this shouldn't do its thing. So uh, well, I'll be looking forward to the update next time on this one to see what's happened. <laughs> Maybe nothing, but at least those bulbs will mature, if nothing else. Right, this is the little rescue catlia, one of two. The other one is showing some signs of life. It's not doing too bad. This one is doing nothing. I've just looked it up. I bought this in April 2013. It bloomed in April 2016, keeled over, and it's done next to nothing since. And Really, I'm almost giving up with this piece. The other one's not too bad, but this was deliberately chosen. Okay, I only need to spend a minute on this one, because quite honestly, it's done absolutely nothing since we last filmed it. Um, or I tell a lie, it's extended a root. But basically, we've got no sign of new growth and very, very little root activity. So this one's still struggling. Its other one is um, doing better, but this one's just not progressing at all at the moment. So, we give it more time. Right, so this is my only species to Lumnia, and um, I always expect, I don't know why, I always expect species to not do as well as hybrids, but quite honestly, <coughs> excuse me, in amongst my Tolumnias, this is actually a good strong plant. The plant grows well, produces good roots, it does well. Um, I've had it a while now. Um, it's actually got a culture award at Malvern. Uh, must be two years ago now, so I've had it at least that long, even longer. Um, but it's, it, at this point, it was um, looking like a nice bushy plant. It had a good root system, and it was producing two spikes. That's the first time it's pushed up two spikes at roughly the same time. It's only ever had one before. So the, the plant's getting bigger. As it gets bigger, it produces more new growths. So the chances of getting multiple spikes increase. And that's what this plant's doing. It is getting bigger and bigger. So we had two spikes um, effectively, <laughs> with this one, just starting even though they're now longer than some other Tolumnia spikes would be when they produce their blooms. But this has a little bit of a downside. Okay, the species Tolumnia, last time we looked at it, we had two lovely spikes sticking up, and they were about that long. Well, they grew, and they grew, and they grew, and they're now in bloom and these are incredibly attractive blooms and although they're small for Tolumnias it makes up for it in sheer weight of numbers. It's already branching in several places so very attractive blooms. The plant itself is also producing new growths. Um, 
one obvious one at the front that we can keep our eye on for next time. But I'm very pleased with the plant. It's got an extensive root system um, and a lot of this root system is active. You know, we've got growing tips on it. That will be from the latest growths and um, we'll get even more now that it started producing even more new growths. So well pleased with that one, although it is a bit of a nuisance with the sheer length of the spikes. Because <coughs> where I keep it, the blooms look like they're on three plants along instead of on the plant they belong to. But um, they are very attractive blooms, the l brightest of yellows, lovely patterning and um, freely branching. And um, I mean, what have we got here? Two, four, six blooms open on that and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight more buds to come. Two branches. That one's got at least three buds. This one's just starting and it will probably branch again once these blooms go over. And then we got this one over here. This one's just opening as well. So quite a little performer this one, <laughs> despite the length of the spikes. But it does well for me and that's my only species so I'm pleased with that. Right, this was one of the Christmas Five, as I call them. Um, with a very, uh, it's got a trade name, basically. I'm sure that's not its true hybrid name. Pop-ups for plant names on this type of update. Um, but when we looked at this, it had, had this little sort of side shoot that is grossly undersized, but it did produce a spike, um, and it was just, just starting to open uh, the last time we filmed it. I was worried because there was no sign of roots and the roots it had were minimal and just about viable. They weren't active, no growing tips or anything like that, but just about enough to keep that plant hydrated. But nonetheless, it was getting enough hydration to produce a spike and open some blooms. So uh, I was pleased with its progress at that point, but desperate to get roots at some point in time quite close to now it needed roots and the last one in this set we've had a little bit of a disaster um, last time we looked we had a spike with some blooms just opening those blooms have long since gone but what we've got now you can see the end of the spike that died back and we have a branch with two new blooms that have just opened so um, a continuation shall we say We've also got now a nice new growth here, but what we have is a disaster with the mount. It's cracked down the middle and split into two. So it's only just hanging together here. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that, but I, I will have to deal with it. I may try and glue the two pieces together, but what I'll probably do is just tie the plant onto one of the pieces. It doesn't need a giant mount. Um, you know the roots will go around the back of the mountain if they need to they will find a place to be so uh, <laughs> yes um i did realize that when i mounted it i thought that crack down the middle is a bit fragile i bet that will go eventually and it did so what we're watching now is the next new growth which has just got signs of new roots starting and that will be its new root system because the growth that it's actually bloomed on still hasn't produced new roots so this is where the new roots will come from, the latest growth. So we'll see what that looks like at the end of the uh, season. So that's part three done, only part four to go, which is the um, selection of ones from the cooler growers. Um, so I'll get on with those shortly. And in amongst those might be a bit of a surprise. I love teases. <laughs> You'll have to go back and, back and watch part one. <laughs> Project Orchids Update 1, Part 4, and see if you can work out what the surprise might be. And um, I doubt if you'll get it. Anyway, we'll get there soon. Um, I'll probably do this, uh, the Part 4, early next week. Um, don't want them too close together. But um, yes, once Part 4 is out of the way, that will be the um, set of four done. The next set of updates are going to be quite late in the year. Um, probably late August into September over that sort of period um, and that will be the um, Project Orchids Update 3 and then when we get to Update 4 we'll be heading towards Christmas and that will be a whole year's worth so I'll go back to the original 
stills taken last December and compare them with what the plants look like in this coming December. So we'll be comparing a whole season um, in the last part. And then I suppose next year I'll have to start it all over again. <laughs> I may choose a different set of plants for next year. Uh, that might be nice. Anyway, um, that was part three and uh, part four to come. See you next time.